Fat's no good, fat's no good. Don't want fat in my diet. We have lived a lie for 50 years. You know, it's not an accident that people are hooked on all this processed garbage. Having the federal government get behind the low-fat diet changed vastly the food system. Suddenly now we're eating a carbohydrate-based diet. You might as well be eating a bowl full of sugar. The one question I wish every single doctor would ask is, what are you eating? Maple and brown sugar, heart healthy. You know that that can't be right, right? <laughs> what powers the brain far more efficiently is fat. We need to get back into the kitchen. So we're gonna add more fat to the diet. I mean, good, natural fat. Coronary artery disease. I have asthma. Type 2 diabetes. She has epilepsy. Autism. High cholesterol. Cancer. So when we get rid of refined sugars, refined grains, refined vegetable oils, processed foods, it's basically meat and vegetables. We might be able to influence a variety of organ systems through one intervention. This is a unique event in the history of modern medicine. There are powerful vested interests. This will seriously harm our profession. Pharmaceutical companies are profiting from this. Weight loss industry is profiting from this. Undertakers are making out like bandits. Cancer cells depend on glucose as a source of fuel. I am really going to do this. I am going to do this. I started this new way of eating today. I have no idea how we're going to do it. The first five days, she starved herself. The fifth day, he said his first word. Tap your fingers. I almost fell over on my chair. Literally jumping up and down. And she stopped seizing. When my tumor started shrinking. The possibility is that she could cure her diabetes with food. No more inhaler. Absolutely. Right. Cheers. It's time to look at the results and the outcomes and say maybe we've got it wrong. I have, I have faith in bigger, better things, man. <laughs> Good job, man.